This is what we all want. Mass production. German firm BioNTech's the latest to say that may be just months away. It was amongst the very first to start phase one trials for a COVID-19 vaccine. The results are now out. It indicates that, that the vaccine is able to do, uh, to provide one functionality, uh, the induction of, uh, of virus inactivating or virus neutralizing antibodies. We have to evaluate further, further functionalities, for example, the induction of T cell responses. The technique used lends itself to speedy development, but it's not without risks. No so-called RNA vaccine has ever been approved by regulators. Two other firms have been making headlines in the RNA vaccine race. One American, Moderna, but the other's German too. It's called CureVac, and in April, the state bought a 23% stake. Germany must be an open country regarding investments, but there are certain areas where our stance must be very, very clear. Over in England, researchers at Oxford University got a visit from the Crown last week for their efforts. They're the only team running final phase trials so far, using a different method of replicating the coronavirus based on a weakened version of the common cold. But Europe's also leading efforts to make sure geography won't make a difference to who gets vaccinated first, if and when one comes. The European Commission hosted a major donor conference back in May. The US, which didn't donate, just bought up most of the world's supply of remdesivir, for example, which can shorten recovery time. Others are in the pipeline, though, including one based on an existing tuberculosis inoculation. Again, it's German-led research. Now, BCG is, has been shown to also show some cross-protection uh, against respiratory infections with viruses. And we thought, since our vaccine is based on BCG and shows a better profile, we would like to test also our vaccine. There are now 17 clinical trials for a COVID-19 vaccine underway worldwide. Most experts agree more than one will be needed anyway. On continental Europe, it is Germany that's leading the way.